In the previous video, we studied the geometric meaning of zeros of a polynomial. In today's video, we will look at some of the examples based on it. Mohan is looking at the graph of y is equal to p x in his brother's book. And he's trying to know what would be the number of zeros of p x. Mohan had studied this concept in his maths class. But he doesn't remember it properly. Let's try to help Mohan. Mohan remembers that if the graph of Px cuts the x-axis at n points, then the polynomials will have n zeros. Can you tell the number of times this graph intersects the x-axis? Correct! This graph intersects the x-axis at two points. Hence, the number of zeros would also be 2. In the next graph, you can see that the graph doesn't intersect the x-axis anywhere. Hence, the number of zeros in this case will be 0. In this third graph, you can see that it cuts the x-axis three times. Hence, the number of zeros will be 3 in this case. Let's look at another example. The figure given below is the graph of a polynomial. With the help of the graph, find out the number of zeros. Here, the graph intersects the x-axis at two points. Hence, there will be two zeros of this polynomial, minus 2 and 5. You can verify the result by replacing the zeros in polynomial. In today's video, we studied how to find the number of zeros of a polynomial using its graph.